Happy Saturday, folks, and welcome back to Injection of Inspiration. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and every single Saturday right here on the show, I give you your daily dose of motivational advice, helpful tips, etc., etc. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Uh, today's episode is about never apologizing for telling the truth. Don't do it. Don't fucking apologize for telling the truth. Uh, only apologize when you are genuinely sorry. Don't do it because you feel you have to or whatever. Unless you are genuinely sorry, do you know? never apologize, period. I'm not saying apologies are bad. Definitely apologize again when you feel that you are genuinely sorry that something happened, specifically something that you did. Otherwise, don't bother. And I tell people all the time, I appreciate apologies. I really do. I'm glad people, you know, say they're sorry for certain things they do. I'm I'm completely okay with that. That's the first step in showing vulnerability when, when necessary. But at the same time, I tell people, like, if you keep on saying you're sorry a million fucking times, like, I'm not, 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 not when something, not when one incident happens and you say you're sorry like a million times, that's one thing. I'm talking about, like, when something happens, you say you're sorry. Then you do it again, you say you're sorry again. And it happens again and again and again and again. You keep on saying you're sorry as some, you know, as if it's some sort of, like, it makes up for, like, the incident happening. And it doesn't. I mean, it can't change what happened. At least you're showing that you're genuinely sorry and you care. That being said, just be fucking responsible. Don't let it happen again. That's what I tell people. Like, I appreciate that you're sorry, that you're apologizing, but just don't let it happen again, and I don't care. Like, it's fine. A few times, one time, completely understandable. Second time, and eh, third time, like, stop saying you're sorry and just stop fucking doing it. But anyway, um, this anecdote kind of goes along with today's theme for injection of inspiration. So, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a longer story. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a bit of a longer story. I've alluded to it here before on Injection of Inspiration. I'll probably tell the full story um, at some point down the road when the time is right. It's just a really, 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 really long story from several years ago, like five, six years ago. Um, But anyway, that story, that long story that I will tell at some point here on the show, I summed up into a story for school. I wrote it up and I wrote it as an autobiography. It really wasn't an autobiography. Like our whole class project in late 2012 for my senior year of high school for my uh, creative writing class was to do the, um, like the no, I forgot what it's called, but like it's the writing a book month is November. So that's what we participated in. And we can write a quote unquote book on pretty much anything. And as long as it was like an X amount of words. And I just did it on something I know. I've told it, I've said this before, but I tell stories on stuff I personally experienced because that's all really that I know. I'm not really that creative. And um, I just tell stories that actually happened to me, whether they be interesting or not. So I told this story for my uh, class project, whatever, which was fine. And I'm sure that I never got any feedback from the teacher. I think he just wanted to make sure that we were writing and we got the right amount of words as that we needed to pass the class, whatever, to pass the project, get an A, whatever. That he, I don't think he really gave a shit. But what I ended up doing was taking that story and putting it online. Now, at that point, people had already known the story, people I was friends with, um, people that were following me at that point on Twitter many years ago. Um, I had already told the story a few times and had alluded to it on Twitter a number of times. So people already pretty much knew. This was just kind of getting it in writing. And before I had had told it in a series of tweets about like five years ago, at this point, um, I told it and like I wrote it up in documents and whatever I would give to my teacher, I would put like on my lo- online, on Twitter, on my website, whatever. And um, people checked it out. People liked it, blah, blah, blah. I just never really finished it. And I'm working on something else a bit different now. That's not really a retelling of that story. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but it's more about like life lessons and morals and shit. I'm only 21 years old, so I really don't have too much to offer, obviously. Not yet anyway. But the point I'm trying to make is that I had wrote it earlier five years ago, put it up online, available for anyone to see. And I really wasn't bashing anyone in this story. I was just telling my side of the story. And it's funny, we talked about this in my creative writing class a couple of days ago. And I completely agreed with what the teacher said. I mean, your story, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I understand getting like consent to write about people. Um, but unless you're like obviously calling them out or calling them out on their shit or something that was very personal uh, and that was very personable to them, uh, very, very like personal. They can't, don't really want to share it with the public. Other than that, I feel like it's free range to talk about whatever you want. Again, as long as you're not slandering someone and you're not bashing someone, I'm almost 99% sure I did not do that in this story. And even if someone written about in the story had read the story, honestly, I don't care. Like if you liked it, that's great. If you didn't like it, whatever. Like a lot of the people I had written about, I didn't deal with on a regular basis anyway. A lot of those people lived in another town from another life, from literally a year or two or at the time it's like a year or two earlier 
or whatever. And again, I didn't go out of my way to bash people. If I wanted to, I mean, I did a lot of that at the time on, you know, regrettably on like social media and stuff, which I talked about before. I did not use it very wisely for quite some time early on in my Twitter career, I will admit. Um, but like in writing this story, I was past that point where I had, you know, regrets or had been bitter about it. I really just wanted to tell my side of the story. It was my truth. It was my truth. Again, I did not go out of my way. Even if it was my truth, I didn't say this person was a bitch. This person was an asshole. They did this. I mean, I might've said certain things they did, but I didn't go out of my way to, to bury them in print, whatever. So regardless, years go by, years go by. Again, I didn't finish that version of the story. I just got busy doing other stuff. The way I was writing it too, just, it was not that great. I kind of rebooted it about a year or two ago, about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, and I'm currently working on it now, and it's a way better version of it. I mean, it's the same story, but just the way that it was written and <clears throat> breaking it up into chapters and only including the important stuff, I did a way better that a way better um, job of that this time around. But anyway, so about a little over a year ago, and a lot of the people that had been involved in that story, I no longer talked to, I have not talked to in like, at this point, five to six years. Uh, the main person I had not talked to at all in years and years and years, but one of their friends that was also in the story, very loosely, again, very loosely, they were not in the, all that much, it wasn't about them, I mentioned them a few times, I mentioned some of their character personality traits, some of their character traits and just not being, not really giving a shit about me, again, I didn't call her a bad name or anything, I just said that she didn't really seem to give a shit about me, and that's, again, just my side of the story that was just telling my truth, based off my interactions with her, that's how I felt, and that's really all that I said, by and large, again, I'd have to go back and read the entire thing, but it's really fucking long, but um, anyway, so about a little over a year ago, I stopped talking to that girl, who I'm talking about here, um, about, mm, like, by the time the story came out, I was no longer talking to her, I talked to her for a few, on a few different occasions in early 2012, the story had come out, had been released to pretty much anybody by late 2012, um, so I had not been talking to her, I did not, I, I didn't go out of my way to get people's consent, I, I actually changed the names too, I did not use their real names, so that was another thing too, I didn't want to go out of my way to bury anyone, I didn't, even if I used their real name, I didn't use their full name, like, I didn't want to do that either, so it's, it's not like I'm saying, oh, this person's, uh, whatever, you know, hate that person, they're a terrible person, like, no one knew what the fuck I was talking about, they only read the story, and only the people involved would know what it was about, or know who it was about, whatever. So regardless, we had stopped talking literally years and years and years ago. So for whatever reason, I think I might have wished her a happy birthday like once, like four years ago. And then about a year and a half ago, I was going through some weird shit, um, just some bad times. I was really not um, in, in a great place a little over a year ago. And I was kind of reaching at straws. And I remembered it was her birthday. I saw it was her birthday on Twitter. We still follow each other for whatever reason. We don't interact with each other at all. So for whatever reason, we still follow each other. I don't know. But anyway, um, I had seen it was her birthday. I tweeted, I think I sent her a DM, like, hey, happy birthday. I know it's been a long time. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you're doing well, blah, blah, blah. Again, not like inviting her to, to go get a coffee or something. I don't give a shit about that. I was just wishing her a happy birthday. And that was it. A little over two months goes by. And then she messages me back finally. I never heard anything back at the time. I completely forgot about it. Over two months passed by. And she messages me back. And she goes, hey, thank you. I'm just reading this now. Um, what prompted you to send me that message? And I'm like, I just saw it was your birthday. I thought I would wish you happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, that's interesting. I thought you hated me. And I'm like, I, I don't hate you. Why would you think I hated you? Just because we haven't talked in four to five years. It's like a two-way street. Just because I didn't talk to you doesn't mean that you can't talk to me. Like, I don't hate anyone. Uh, why would you think that, I asked. And she had said, Oh, because I heard that you wrote some shit um, in like a book or something. And it was it was in relation to that book. So how she got a hold of it again, um, I'm pretty sure I had tweeted it out all the time. So how she knew that that was the story and to click on it. She like, oh, some people told me and by means like translation to I probably <laughs> read it myself. It's probably what she was saying. Um, it didn't really seem like you liked me that much. I'm like, it wasn't like that. Like I just told it the way that it was. Like, I'm sorry if it came off you know, poorly, like, I did apologize for saying, like, I'm sorry if, if you interpret it that way, but it wasn't, like, meant to be a shot, and she's like, oh, well, I kind of felt disrespected, I thought you hated me, I'm like, whatever, I kind of give up, I kind of gave up at that point, I, I had said something back, she didn't reply, and I just kind of said, fuck it, whatever, um, but that's exactly what I'm saying, like, again, I did not go out of my way to bash this person, um, but it's like, you can't, 
apologize for telling the truth. That was my truth to this story of what exactly happened. I was not, I apologize for the way that it came across. I didn't want to apologize for what I said in the book though, because that was the truth. I meant it at the time. I still mean it now. Like, I'm sorry if you felt offended by that, but sorry, lady, fuck you. Like, don't read it or, you know, that's, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Like, if you're so sorry about it or you felt that I not disrespected you or whatever, but, you know, then you shouldn't have read it in the first place or you shouldn't have done what you did in the first place. And it wasn't even really that bad. And I did not put you in that terrible of light and no one knows you as this person anyway, because I didn't put your real fucking name in the story. So I don't know what the problem is. And again, a story I can't really talk about quite yet. Maybe at some point down the line, something else had happened recently. Um, not with like a book or anything like that or a story, whatever. But I had said some things on Twitter that later had to be deleted. And I'm very conscious about what I tweet nowadays. And I have been for a few years. So for me to go out of my way and say something I believe in, it, it's got to be something pretty big. I don't go out of my way to shit on people on Twitter, even wrestlers. Like, I don't care about that. I'm not, I, I don't want to spread hate. There's too much of that already on social media, specifically on Twitter. I don't fucking care about that shit. But if I speak out about something, it's because I firmly, firmly, firmly believe it and I know what's right. I was later contacted and told to, to take it down. And even though it was the truth, I said, I apologize for not coming to you first and telling you about what I, my thoughts on this were. But, um, I mean, I'm not going to apologize for what I said because it is pretty fucking trashy. Again, I can't say what it is quite yet. Maybe at some point in the next month or two once this all kind of clears up. And it already really is cleared up, but I wanted to let it pass by first before talking about it. But anyway, um, so that's about the story, guys. That is kind of two stories in one, I guess. Never apologize for telling the truth. That's the bottom line for today's video. Like, you did what you did for a reason at the time. Like, never regret anything either. I've talked about that before. You did what you did at the time for a reason, you were like, oh, I didn't mean it. Well, you fucking meant it at the time, otherwise you wouldn't have done it, you know? And you can be sorry, you can be, you know, apologetic that you did it, but you gotta move on. What has happened has happened. Everything has happened for a reason. Everything that will happen will happen for a reason. Don't be sorry about that shit. Like, you need to realize that. The more you realize that, the, le the less regretful you will be by the end of your lifetime. Just be more conscious about the decisions that you make. Um, but above all else, though, if you're apologizing for, to someone for something that you said, again, you should apologize if you called out someone for being like an asshole or a dick or a bitch or whatever. Yeah, you shouldn't say that type of stuff. That's not appropriate. That's not necessary. But if you're saying your truth, like you're saying, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't have, you did this or that, like, oh, why would you say that? Well, because you fucking did it. Like, that's the truth. I'm not going to apologize for telling the truth. Like, you gotta not, not grow a set. I hate when people say that. It's just, it, different situations call for different actions. Um, but just, you know, take pride in yourself. Just realize that there are, there are certain situations for certain things. And if you firmly believe in something and you're not bashing that person, you're just saying it like it is, you should say it like it is. I'm not saying that you shouldn't care at the risk of being fired or breaking or ruining friendships or whatever. I'm not saying do that. I'm not saying do that. What I am saying is that you say everything that you do for a reason. Um, even if you say, oh, you didn't mean it, or I didn't mean it, or whatever, well, you you probably meant it at the time, apologize and move on, but if it was a, if it was something that had happened that they just may not necessarily like because that's something they re either regret doing or whatever, and it doesn't put them in the best of light, well, you know what, you shouldn't have done it in the first place, that is telling the truth, I'm sorry, and it, don't say it unless it has to be said, and like, don't you be like, oh, this person did that, this person did that, if, you know, and you have to defend yourself or whatever, always stand up for yourself. Again, it's another theme for this video. Fucking stand up for yourself. Don't back down. Don't, you know, uh, try to back up what you said before and like, oh, no, no, I didn't mean it that way. Like, or I guess you can say that, but you said it for a reason and, you know, stand by it. Stay by what you say. Stand by everything that you say and claim to have said, blah, blah, blah. So again, that's today's injection of inspiration. It's kind of all over the place, but what episode of this show is not. So that being said, guys, um, you can tweet me on the Twitter machine with your thoughts at WrestleRant. Find me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash graham.jason.matthews. Right here on YouTube, drop a like, drop a comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel, above all else, for daily content going up, again, daily, every single fucking day here on the channel is our videos going up. So be sure, be sure to subscribe for that, um, above all else. And that being said, we'll be back next Saturday with another all-new injection of inspiration. Until then, guys, have an awesome weekend. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.